Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from DomesticKME.com and today I'm bringing you my very first Try the World unboxing. So if you'd like to see what I received in my very first box, then let's get started. Before I begin, I just want to give a really big shout out and thank you to Fashion File for sending me this super cute uh, box cutter. Um, I do unboxings and reviews for them all the time. I mean, I don't do them. I don't do it for them. I just do them. I love Fashion File. I've never worked with them officially. I've never, I've never uh, collaborated with them. They've never paid for anything. Everything that I get from Fashion File, I purchase myself with my own money. Never even got a discount or anything like that. I just love them so much. I buy from them all the time. And unexpectedly, last week. They sent me this uh, box cutter in the mail as a way to thank me for the unboxings that I've done, which I thought was a really cute idea. So um, I've gotten a lot of, you know, thank yous and gifts from brands, but this one was really thoughtful and was really cute. So thank you to Fashion Files. So I'm going to go ahead and use this box cutter to cut open my very first Try the World box. So I discovered Try the World through a coworker of mine. She sent me a link and she said, you have to see this. So I looked, I went to the page, I looked at it, and what it is, is a subscription box. You get a box every two months, and every month has, um, has a theme and a particular city or country. So if um, I, I, I'm looking, looking into it, and you get about six to seven products from that city or country, and it's things that you can eat, and... Um, things that you can prepare meals for or to just have a taste of what that city is all about or that country. Um, some traditional dishes, some of the products that actually come from there. And I'm a big foodie and I love to travel. Unfortunately, since having my daughter, I haven't traveled internationally, um, actually since I was pregnant. And she's just turned four today, actually. Today's her birthday. <laughs> and she just turned four. So... Um, I miss traveling and I miss doing that, going to local markets and trying new foods and trying uh, products and fruits that are just, you know, only come from that country or from that city. So I was very intrigued and then I saw what the country was for this box, for this month or um, this box and it's Argentina and I love Argentina and I used to go there. I went there every spring break during college because I was filming a documentary there. And I just love Argentina and I miss traveling there again because I traveled there like three or four times and I miss it and so as soon as I saw that it was Argentina I was like alright that's it sign me up here's my credit card um, so I'm really excited to try this I, I saw I looked up some unboxings on YouTube and there are some from when um, the, the theme was Paris and so they got all these cute little things about Paris and foods and and things that are you know particular to that city and there was one for Japan and so I was I just I just thought the idea was really cute but what really sold me and actually let me just hold on to that thought let's just go ahead and open this box I know you guys are intrigued just as much as I am I'm so excited so I just cut it open and that is what I saw once I saw inside and they're cute little um, hot air balloons so so cute so I'm opening this up and there it is. So cute, great packaging. I always enjoy really thoughtful packaging. Hot air balloons, you know, just connotates travel and such a beautiful color too. I wonder if this is just what all their boxes look like or if every month they change. So pretty, check that out. So, so pretty, I love this box, I feel bad throwing it out. I'm probably not going to throw it out. I'll reuse it for a Poshmark package or something. So I'm going to go ahead and open her up. So, so cute. And here it is. This is what I was just about to talk to. Okay. Ah, so okay. Heavy too. Have to, have to say that heavy. Oh no, it's a little wet. Something didn't spill in here. Oh no, something spilled. Ooh, all right. Um, I will deal with that later. Um, but oh no, I hope it's not one of these. Okay, so my Buenos. What can I find in my Buenos Aires box? Um, parsley, uh, chimichurri, which I love. I make my own chimichurri, but I would love to try this from Vanoli. 
Uh, chimichurri sauce is parsley, garlic, oregano, red pepper flakes, and olive oil from Argentina. From Argentine culinary staple, chimichurri. Um, the robust, the rob I can't speak. This robust sauce is commonly served on the side as a dip for meat and vegetables during large Argentine barbecues known as asados. Vanoli sauce will add a gentle smoky heat to your dishes. Use it as a use it on a steak to enjoy a true gaucho meal. Very true. Chimichurri is huge. I love chimichurri sauce. Love it on steak. Love it in my salads too as like a salad dressing. So good, so good. Um, memories of Patagonia, Malbec wine marinade. Ooh, very nice. Um, bake Love Coo butter cookies. Um, I'm not gonna read all of this, but just I'm just gonna read the products now. Uh, Doña Magdalena Dulce de Leche. Ah, oh, ah, oh, Dulce de Leche. I love Dulce de Leche. Um, this one I will read. In a country with more cattle than people, fresh milk is a given. The gourmet Dulce de Leche is made with natural ingredients and with the best breeds of cattle by the family-owned Magdalena Company. The smoky marmalade is the national jam of Argentina, a caramel topping that can be eaten right out of the jar or drizzled over ice cream, chocolate, or cake for a decadent treat. Love Dulce de Leche. Absolutely true. Decadent, delicious. It's, a, it's basically like a caramel. It's so good. Um, MQA Gourmet Green Olive Paste. I am not a fan of olives, but my husband is, so he, that he's gonna enjoy that. Um, Cham Chamana and Inti Zen. Ooh, Argentine cheese teas. Um, interesting. I thought I was gonna get some mate. Um, Chamana and Inti Zen curate their teas with the help of international recognize artisanal tea blenders using only authentic Latin American ingredients. Enjoy exclusive flavors in this box such as Don Juan with dulce de leche and red fruits or yerba mate. There it is. The national drink of Argentina. There we go. All right. And dulcor, dulce de membrillo. Dulce de membrillo is a fruit spread enjoyed from Buenos, uh, Buenos Aires to Patagonia that dates back to the Spanish occupation. You will find it in bolas de fraile spheres pastries with hints of vanilla and lemon and in the tropical fruit filled pies pasta frora uh cut it in thin slices definitely definitely colombians eat this too so i am excited for that too um so i'm gonna take this quick route but uh let's see say here at the end because try the world works with smaller producers across the world each box may have a slightly slightly different selection of products or flavors than shown here. However, we ensure that all products included pass our highly selective criteria to deliver an authentic experience. Discover more Argentine gourmet, gourmet products at our eShop. Tryworld.com. Okay, so this did not include what I was saying. Oh, with the chimichurri sauce that spilled. No. I love chimichurri sauce. Okay, but in previous unboxing that I saw on YouTube, um, it came with a this is this just looks like a like one little card, but in previous unboxings that I saw before I purchased this my subscription, it had a little pamphlet, and in the pamphlet, it talked about the country or the city, um, and also gave recommendations for mo movies and music, and that is what really sold me. And even though it's not included here, it's fine. It's Argentina. I can I can handle Argentina. I know Argentina, but. What I really liked, as soon as I saw that, I saw the products that were included, and then I saw that it gave that extra information about telling you a little bit about the country or the city that, that the box is coming from, um, and that it recommended movies and music. I just thought this is a wonderful date night thing, um, because you have this box of food samplings, and then you have a movie or a related, you know, CD that you can play, and it's such a great little idea. And look, I've been married, I've been with my husband for many years, um, and so it's really hard after a while to come up with creative things to do as a date night. I mean, and we work a lot. So for us, what we, we've sort of, you know, started doing our go-to is just to, you know, buy, take, you know, get some takeout, watch a movie, and that's what we do, and that's fine. But sometimes it's fun to do throw a little something different in the mix and I thought that this would be a perfect idea and I think it is. So um, I'm totally planning on 
you know, looking up a really good Argentine movie, maybe playing some tango music to set the mood as I prepare the food and then enjoy some of this as we watch a good film, a good film from Argentina. So all you couples out there, whether you're married or newlyweds or just, you know, in a relationship, uh, have a boyfriend or girlfriend, this is something really cute and really nice to do. Um, so let me just go ahead and open some of these products to show you my chimichurri sauce. Did it break? I don't know what happened here, but it spilled. It spilled a little bit. Not a ton. Just a little bit. But this is the Vanoni chimichurri sauce. I'm so excited to open this up. I will put this on everything. But it's really good on steak. And I enjoyed it in, in, in salads, as I mentioned. Throw this out. Um, the next thing are these sweet and salty Bake Love Coo butter cookies. I'm a big fan of cookies. Salty and sweet. I'm a huge fan of salty and sweet. So definitely be enjoying that. Oh no. No, 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 no. Something broke. It wasn't the chimichurri sauce. Something broke. Something broke. And that's what it is. Okay. I know what exactly what it is. Let me just go through the rest of it. Um, memories of Patagonia, red fruits, Malbec, red wine, and honey. This looks like a really good spread. Oh, I'd love to try this over some some uh, French bread. Oh, that looks really good. I'm excited for that. All right, and then I'll pull that out. Not make a mess. Oh no, the tea's got soaked. Um, okay, Inti Zen. Inti and Zen teas. Oof, this is a mess. Sorry guys, this is, oh, I'm disappointed too. I'm sorry. I, I feel I feel worse for you guys that are watching this unboxing of this like messy stuff, but I'm still really happy with it just because teas are fine. Um, so here is the Te con miel, vainilla, and cacao. Vanilla honey and cacao tea. Um, mate. This is the one that I was waiting for. And Te de Ceylon con bargamot. All right, I'm gonna Earl Grey and rose petal, which I am totally into. My husband's a big Earl Grey fan. Um, so I drink it a lot as well. I mostly stick to green tea, but Earl Grey with rose petal sounds really good. I'm definitely trying that. All right, this can be tossed. The next thing is the, oh, the sweets. Oh, this is so soaked. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, my mom's here. I'm gonna give this right to her so that she can taste it, but this is what it looks like. And this, the, the, this is the box. It's soaked, so I'm gonna just throw this out. In Colombia, it's usually made with guava, but um, so I'm excited to try this one from Argentina and see what it tastes like. But it's a really like nice sweet spread, um, fruit based spread, rather than like a chocolate or something like that that you'd see a, a lot here in the states. So I'm really excited to try that. That looks really good. And then this is. Oh man, you guys can't. This is the dulce de leche, which I don't care what it looks like. This little thing right here tastes so good. Doesn't matter what the cover looks like and that it's soaked and that you can hardly read it. It is, it'll, if you've never had dulce de leche and you like sweets, you have a sweet tooth, this will change your life. Try it, it's so good. I would open it right now, but it's oily and I can't. I can't do it. Um, and then last but not least, what broke? I now see what happened. This is the olive oil paste, which I'm not totally, you know, dying over. But I, I, I will reach out to the company. I'm sure they'll just send me a new one to replace this. But, yeah, I can't. I'm, I'm no, no, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to get my hand in there and then cut myself. But it was the um, olive paste. Here's the top. I'm sorry you guys I was really hoping for something much nicer than this I just to be clear I'm still super happy with it I know that if I reach out to the company and let them know that the broke they'll replace it um, they'll send me another one but I'm just happy with all the products that are included with it I'm happy with the idea that this will be my date night thing and actually 
my anniversary is tomorrow. So um, we got married three years ago tomorrow. So it just came perfect timing. I'll you know go go on Netflix and find like a really good Argentine movie that we can watch and then make make some steak, make some salad with the chimichurri sauce. I have dulce de leche. I have the the um, the what's it called? What do you call it here? Um, the dulcor here that I can spread on some toast and just create a really delicious meal with all this stuff. So I'm really excited about it. I'm sorry that I couldn't show you all the products or that they didn't look super nice, but I'm really thrilled about it. If you want to know more about Try the World, go to the info section below. I'll have a link to it. Hey guys, really good news. So I was starting to take photos of the products that were in the box and I moved the cover and all of a sudden, boom, this little cardboard flap came flying out and then dropped this. Uh, so because the box got all wet, I didn't see this, but here it is, the Argentina Culture Guide. And as soon as you open it up, it says, Welcome to Buenos Aires. Often referred to as the, pa the Paris of South America, Buenos Aires is a melting pot of cultures. This is reflected not only in its diverse citizens, but in its architecture and food as well. It is a city of electric and colorful neighborhoods, from the rainbow-hued barrio of El Caminito to French-inspired district of Recoleta. And this is it. This is everything. It provides you information about the city. It tells you um, their expert is, is Adolfo Suaya, um, a native of Buenos Aires. He here we go, tango, the dance that mem mesmerizes Buenos Aires. This is the big, obviously the big dance. Football, which is such a big part of the uh, South American culture, but in Argentina it's huge. Um, Cornflower alfajores with dulce de leche. Here's a recipe of how you can use the dulce de leche that came in the box. I'm so excited. I'm so glad. I was already happy with the box. And as I said, one of the products broke, but I'm sure that when I reach out to the company, they'll just send me another one. But now that I have this, I'm super psyched. Look at this. The asado tradition, a typical a typical barbecue. And so this is where you would use the chimichurri sauce, right? Um, I love this. These pages, pages are a little stuck together. Buenos Aires playlist. Here's a playlist. So while I'm preparing the food, I can play some of this music. I'm sure that has tons of Carlos Gardel. Yep, the very first song, Volver by Carlos Gardel, which is the most famous Argentine tango singer there is. Um, uh, well, he's not from Argentina, but anyways, the, the most famous tango singer that there ever was and ever will be is Carlos Gardel. So I can play this music as I'm preparing the food, setting the mood. Here's the Argentine movies that they recommend. And so this is such a great date night thing. And the last page, an Argentine poem. How great is that? So excited, so excited to just dive right into this box and start preparing something. And before you guys leave, I will be doing a date night with this box. So I'm probably just gonna photograph everything that I prepare and do with this. So make sure that you stay tuned because I'll have an updated Try the Box, um, I guess, review or, or just how I use Try the Box in my life to do a really cute, uh, really cute date night so stay tuned for that thank you again for watching make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already make sure you check out the info section below for links of, to all the products that i mentioned and plus what i'm wearing and links to my social media again i'm on pinterest youtube twitter um instagram you name it i'm on it thanks again for watching make sure that you're subscribed and stay tuned